Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So in this video today, I'll be giving you guys the Riven against Ilawi matchup guide. But first of all, for the people that don't know, if you are looking to improve in League of Legends or you want to get better with Riven in specific, make sure you check out my stream because I am a high elo Riven main. And with all of that being said, let's continue with the video. So when doing the Ilawi matchup, you always want to take Conqueror in the runes and in the secondary tree, you want to go for Sorcery and you want to take Nimbus Cloak and Transcendence. Nimbus Cloak is very OP against Ilawi because it gives you movement speed buff and it allows you to walk through minions. In this matchup you will have to dodge his tentacles a lot so Nimbus Cloak is definitely required. If you think that you are very good at dodging you can also take Scorch instead of Nimbus Cloak. For the summoner spells you want to go for Teleport and Flash. However you can also go for Ignite because Ilawi has a lot of sustain in the fights. For the starter items you want to buy Longsword and 3 Potions. If you are feeling really insecure or you think that you won't be able to dodge the tentacles from Ilawi, you can also go for Doran Shield. So now actually getting into the laning phase, there's actually one mechanic which I want to show you guys which will make the Ilawi matchup a lot easier. So as you guys can see we are going full in and we are dancing all around Ilawi. When playing this matchup you never want to get hit by Ilawi's E and this will make him unstoppable and Riven will never win if Ilawi hits his E. This is where the mouse mechanic comes into place. Let's rewatch the clip and I'll show you guys. First of all when watching this clip you see that Remus is coming for me and they were about to dive me. This is why Ilawi was in this really weird and awkward position. Anyway, I saw the opportunity to go in for Ilawi, so I took that chance. So I am starting the fight with the double cast combo, and this allows me to dodge his E if he tries to use it. And then I Q again, but this time I'm actually holding the mouse away from Ilawi. What happens is that Riven will pass through Ilawi instead of actually queuing in one place. This is what you should be doing all the time when you play against Ilawi. Let's rewatch the clip, but this time in normal speed. So once again we are sitting under the tower and we see Remus and as soon as Ilawi gets into the awkward position I am going in for the fight and I try to dodge his E. And now we've got a free kill. So now to clarify and make sure that everybody understands, Ilawi is unstoppable whenever he hits his E. Make sure you dodge it at all costs because this is the only way for Ilawi to win this matchup. The same applies for his tentacles. You must dodge every single tentacle that he tries to land on you. If you don't get hit by a single one of them, the matchup should not be that hard. And I have one more thing to say. If Ilawi reaches level 6, don't go in for the all-in whenever there's too many tentacles. At some point, there will be too many that you won't be able to dodge anymore. So make sure that you clear them out sometimes. And once again, don't get hit by his E. Now what if you see a nice opportunity to go in but you get hit by his E, you want to run out as soon as possible and take as little damage as you can. Make sure that you dodge every single tentacle that spawns right next to you after getting hit by his E. Because those tentacles are going to hurt real bad. Also as long as you can dodge everything you should be able to win level 1 to 6 and even beyond. So if you get the chance to get level 2 first then you should definitely always take that chance. Now for those people that want to see the full matchup gameplay, the rest of the game will be me playing against the Nilawi. Go sit, watch, learn and relax and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.